Um, okay, so uh, things that we need to check out. Uh, we can't obviously go to see my mother, um, but we can check out a Peru's room. Um, I think that's the the most likely cause. This is Von Volner. He's Von Volner's back. I don't think um, it's Von Volner, but um, if we have the opportunity to check his room, like extra loot, why not? Right? Yeah, collector's coins. Perfect. Huh? Masons. The signs of obscurantism. Hello. Thank you for that. Yeah, I need to recollect all my uh, all my jelly. That's a book. Perfect. And that book is going to give me some skills. Another book? Sorrows no. Further. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Vorner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful <gasps> you gave me. But I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So... Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Interesting. Okay, so they have a greater connection. Huh, I don't know how he plays in. A table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Weird periodic table with, uh, uh, I'm using his head. Female and male. And male's on there twice. Just just saying. Right there. But anyways. Uh, let's search that, I guess. That was not worth it. Okay. Um. Oh. You're just, just hanging out. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me come in. Another one? We're close to the owner's heart. I... Poo. No, I think I think we're right on that one. L Z I and O. Okay, let's uh, let's go continent. Val. Leon? Ugh. What the hell could this be? G or C? Okay, yeah, no, not doing that one. Um, difficulty six. Yeah, no thanks. Like, no, no thanks, man. We we will check that one out later. Um, Jesus. All right, bud. How you doing? How was, uh, how was your relationship with Elizabeth, huh? Was it strained? What can I do for you? What's your shoe size, 15? Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, monsieur? Um. Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going. Yeah, whatever there. you say. But I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she. Uh, not really, to tell the truth. All right, so why are you lying to me? I found the Verter dedication. So there like you it. go. Why are you lying to me, bro? Change your version now. Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you. Well, continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. What 
what is your relationship over? It's free! I get the impression that your romance was over. Am I right? So? What does it matter to you? I would never have attacked her, if that's what you're insinuating. Who put an end to the relationship? You or her? It was her. It was her. But what does that matter? We both agreed. Mm, motive. Motive. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Stab it! Alright, let's just take a little bit of view here. Just see if there's anything... Amber crystals. Oh, Glad I'm looking around. Alright. Alright. Let's head out. Um, we have to check out Peru, Napoleon, Washington. We got we gotta check out lots of stuff. Um, there's there's lots of lots of places to go. Anything? Nope. That's I believe that's Volner's other door. Nothing over here. There's a big room right there, and I just don't know what ooh, ow. Uh I don't know what that necessarily is. Hello! Peru! I found your gun! What do you want from me, Dariche? Greetings. It's fallen to me Cut that the crap! Get to the point. We both know why you're here. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. He doesn't it's look well. Late, sir. If you have something to say, now is the time. Ooh, psychology. Everything's already written. It's over. Why is he behaving like the perfect culprit? What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No, you don't. Uh, F? Oh, okay. He's got some of the same paintings that I have. Anything? Great. Honey. Ooh, honey. Okay. A pattern with four circles. Four circles. Do I have the four circle uh, key? No, I don't have the four circle key. Uh, do I? Fine. We're just going to keep on using effort points. We're going to end up getting I believe we get drunk if we take too much of this. Uh, ooh, bunch of letters. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. Oh, that's um. Are doing marvelously well, and Emily's right. Soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister marie -Ellen. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. <laughs> Um, but no, this is this is the orphanage that the Duchess was talking about. I'll retrieve it later. Yeah, this is interesting. So Peru is <sighs> has some sort of relationship with both Elizabeth and Emily. I don't know if we shall meet again. At this point in time, I am a prisoner, snared by my own decisions. You must be protected. My future is lost without you. You can still be saved. No matter how much bitterness you hold against me, you must know that I made a pact with the devil who I thought I could master. I thought I knew the monsters, but what I did for France was nothing compared to what they are capable of doing. Now I can't see any way out. The jaws are closing upon me. I love you now and forever. Doesn't have an author. 
This amount of psychosis, potentially it's um, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth is now in a relationship with Peru. And that's why Peru was being abusive. Because it did something happen in their relationship? Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well-known names on it. Mm. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. It wasn't lying around. You literally pulled it from a random bookcase. Shit. Ooh, hello. Thank you. Oh, no. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais and will take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests. Okay, so that's that's the invitation. That's Mortimer bringing it in. Uh, bring them in. Um, I am utterly confused. Uh, real talk. Is there... Oh, wow, he doesn't have a really good balcony. Damn. We got a shit room. Um, let's see, let's see if talking to him does anything else in... Alright, have you finished? We're Not getting close. Quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. That's true. Um... Have you still got your gun? My arrival. Can I see your weapon? No. You do realize you're not helping, don't you? You're making it worse for yourself. Let's talk, like about, talk the about the letter. You're writing. What woman is? Oh, depressed? okay. So Who it was he was woman? writing it. I'm not saying any more. There's no point you insisting. Oh, what? No. All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Found your footprint. We will save a lot of time if you just tell me what happened. You know nothing at all. In light. I know that's why you're trying to. For now, I have your footprint in a pool of blood. That's right. The only thing you can prove is one of my boots was at the scene. Okay. So he agrees there. You wrapped up the investigation. I think there's a. All right, so, so Volner was old love, Peru, current love. Um, but wait a minute, hold up. This letter does not seem like it's being written by, um, by Peru. The jaws are closing around me. Snared by my own decisions, you must be protected. My future is lost without you. You can still be saved, no matter how much bitterness you hold against me. You must know that I made a pact with the devil, who I thought I could master. Is Peru being... <sighs> Peru and Napoleon. I wonder if that's the relationship that Peru is regretting a lot of his decisions. Huh. Oh, God. And Napoleon. Hi. I've already been in Napoleon's room. Um. Let's see. Is there... No, Devil's Thorn. I gotta figure out if I should use any of these. Uh, immunities, vulnerabilities, use... Next skill use is free. Maybe I should start using those. Um... Oh, I should have used that on the, uh, the big box, the occultism box. Um, hello, Napoleon. How are you? Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Uh, do you own a pistol? Any good soldier would. I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, we, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. Okay, so basically this guy's... Um, this guy's innocent, Someone outside of... not far from the victim's room. 
can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. Mortimer is an idiot? I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not hmm. to insist. I could have helped her. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Napoleon and Peru had some sort of falling out. Were you huh? able to recognize the Prowler? Unfortunately not, no. It was dark, and Lord Mortimer was waiting for me. I was not really paying attention anyway. But if sure. I remember rightly, the night of her arrival was also the night of my arrival. So the person he saw leaving Elizabeth's room was Washington. Interesting. Is he sincere? It's it's free. A while now, and I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. It must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Okay, so... Washington was near Elizabeth's room. We... held up Elizabeth in order for Washington to get a better look of her room. Oh, F. Is Washington... Peru's gun. But Washington wouldn't have touched the murder weapon. Unless if... Unless if Washington planted a lot of the laudanum, which gave Elizabeth a psychotic state. And then Peru came in afterwards and left his pistol? I don't know why he would leave his pistol, but... Indeed, it is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Um... Until what time? The game end. Because we know I it started at four. Exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. Okay, so I he left early. couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really. No. Um. Can you tell me who was president, who was president of the game? Please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, yep. President yep. Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and His Eminence Piaget as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. Did any of you leave during the game? Washington left. Not that I know of, monsieur. Really? I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer. <laughs> Okay. Sir Gregory had guards. Did they win much? Oh, la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. <laughs> but I plan on getting it all back before we leave. Okay. Well, so. Have we finished, monsieur? Exactly. Yeah, I think so. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Okay. So, Washington planted the laudanum. It's self inflicted. Peru came in after. Corn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. I wonder who it could belong to. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act. Rapidly worsening. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Paoli continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. 
You hold our destiny in your hands. By his mother. Um, we've already checked out this. Yep. Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Conviction. Chase. Okay. All right. No, uh, can't go outside or anything like that. Um. Why is there just a random chess piece here? Oh, yeah, because uh, it was in the fire. Yep, 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 yep. They were playing in Napoleon's room. Anything fun over here? There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear. Mm -hmm. The pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in it. Right, but he showed me his gun. My dear Napoleon. Mortimer I would like to ask invitation you to in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting um occasion. we shall be able to continue okay that's fine all right let's head out um it we probably uh, we have to talk to Washington I am gonna go into Emily's room yeah, buddy. Let's see how this goes. King George the Third in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Oh, Emily. Do we want to continue our uh, conversation? Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should, under no circumstances, hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. T.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Okay, so that's Emma and Emily sharing some just general information. Um, damn! Um, all right, let's keep on. Uh, the younger addressed ooh. Emily. He's the present prime minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Yeah. Madam. Oh. Thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision-taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. We'll grab the coin. coin. Duchess, you can inform King George of the Holy Father's backing. We shall assist you in financing the recruitment of regiments of emigrated royalists to fight against France. Okay, so there's this massive French-English fight going on. Two coils. Uh, I don't have that one. Ah, F. Fine. Yep, I'm drunk. Never mind. All right, let's see what the letter is. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you hmm. can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing move. business with Lord Mortimer. That hand, that hand is weird. More difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which to my mind makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. 
See you hmm. soon. Duchess and no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Yeah, we'll grab that. Okay, so my mother was brought here for stolen art sales. This is probably the invitation. Oh no. Addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from fifteen years ago now. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. Okay, so the Pitt family is taking care of her. Anything? Uh, fine. A devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised tree. <clears throat> Keep on using royal jelly in order to to get nothing. All right, let's let's talk. Hey, Duchess. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. She was stabbed nine times. Uh, don't, don't you worry. You can be assured of that. If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh, well, anyways, there we go. Louis, how awful. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know Setting up that exactly? it's... <sighs> In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this. Setting up that it's Peru or... Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? Volner. I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? I mean, where were you last night? I know about that one. Others? Speak to her about her correspondence with Piaggi. The dagger was held by the hand of a woman. What is it? A dagger. Quite slim. Have you found its owner? Not yet. Still searching as it happens. That said, since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. Mm. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, that means... I know, Emily. I know. Sarah, Keep the reacher. Yeah. Louis. I'm sure there's an explanation. You're bound to shed some light on it all. If what you say is true, Emily, I'm less and less enthusiastic about shedding any light on the subject. This is so... There's so many different paths that this could take. I think I'm still in the Sudoku I camp. I discussions with the Holy See. Oh, either his eminence can't keep his tongue from wagging... Uh, aided by Washington. Or knows where you shouldn't, sir. Even so, Emily, you're raising a royalist army. That's no small matter. And you are straying from the subject. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? What did you want to do last night? I'm now interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so that I can cross you off the list of suspects. I mean, you were can with you me. Tell me. What you were doing on the night of the murder? Am I given to understand that I'm on the list of suspects? Don't take it the wrong way, but I must consider every possibility. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. I know, Emily. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You're... you're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will find the murderer. I owe Elizabeth that, at least. <sighs> Alright. I won't keep you, Emily. 
thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. I done goofed. I sh ooh. Thank you for that. Um, I really should have honka honka. Um, all right, let's let's head out. Um, I still have to talk to Georgie Porgy. Um, Godoy. Okay, I haven't met Godoy yet. Um, but uh, oh god, I forget what I forget what was in um my mother's letters. Uh, this is my room. I'm not gonna search my room. Nothing. The next one is Piaggi. Right? Did I skip over Piaggi's room? Oh, okay. So I can't go into Piaggi's room. Georgie. Oh, Georgie. All right, George, I think you did it. I think you did it. Also, how presidential does this look? This is, that's great. Hi. All right, I like it. That'll get skills from. A map of Vermont. Mmm, Vermont. I already have all the golden elixirs that I could want. Um, let's check everything before talking to him. I don't, okay, so what I would want to find to guarantee that it's, um, Washington is a bunch of laudanum, right? If I found, um, in his room a bunch of laudanum, that would give me the idea that, um, it was him. Um, sure. One lock. Why not? You see that strength is a real boost. Ah, uh, there's no way I'm finding it, right? It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Decipher the letter. It's in English. Um, sure. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United States and England. Is such an so fight France? Be, France would suffer dearly. Ah, uh, and then where's the other one? My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join the invitation at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. All right. George, how do you feel about laudanum? Greetings, Lee. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I thought you already thought she was dead. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. I think it's you! Whee! Um... Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for some. She had finished her reserve, I believe. Do you take it regularly, Mr. President? Unfortunately, I do, Louis. Mm. I still suffer from a terrible toothache, and it's not likely to get any better. It's just for that, then? Old age, my young friend. So he has a lot of it. I don't wish it upon you, but you'll soon see. At my age, it's rare to have no problems in that domain. And do you take a lot? A moderate amount, Louis. Only the dosage indicated on the prescription of my doctor. Maybe he dosed her. Tell me, Mr. President, had you spoken uh, since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You 
Well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Um, why she was here? Speak to him about the footprint. I don't think it's. I don't think it's his footprint. Not a dress shoe, I hope. That's all I wear. No, rest assured, it looks like the print of a big ankle boot. Okay. Large size. I'd yeah, say. so not him. Perfect. That should help you, Louis. It's a clue. It's a clue, huh? Um, I'm gonna ask him about his alibi. I'm talking to all the guests to find out who has an alibi and, well, who doesn't, Mr. President. Can you tell me what you were doing last night so that mm. I can strike your name off the list? I spent the night right here reading. Alone? Exactly. Emily stopped by in the middle of the night. You can ask her. She wanted to talk about some business we have. Which is true that Anything you and Emily have business. Not at all, Louis. A business matter. But Emily didn't mention it. I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. Feel free, Louis. If there's anything I can do, just I'm gonna go back and talk to Emily. Thank you, Mr. President. See if she mentions the meeting. Um, because Emily was trying to to hang out with me. And if she's also sleeping with uh, Washington, I kinda wanna I kinda wanna fight for her love. Um Otherwise, I, otherwise I'm going with the uh, laudanum story. He dosed her. She had a fit of rage, and Peru came in more from um, uh, came in afterwards after she was dead. Oh, Emily! What can I do for you, Louis? Arrangements with Washington. Yes. Tell me, Emily, what's the nature of your relationship with Washington? Oh, come off it, Louis. You're not going to go into a jealous rage, are you? No, I can no. assure you of that. That has nothing to do with it. Let her speak. It really matter. Look, Louis, the president and myself are working on a number of commercial contracts. Did nothing you see him really last exciting. night? You're lying, Emily. These agreements come into being. They'll break Franco-American alliances for the greatest benefit of England. In order to know. I'm now in I don't know if this is going to change, to establish but alibis for each person. it's worth a try. I can cross you off the list of suspects. Can you tell me what you were doing on the night of the murder? Am I given to understand that I'm on the list of suspects? Don't take it the wrong way, but I must consider every possibility. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. I know, Emily. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You're... you're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will find the murderer. I she didn't mention it. It's... it's fucking Washington. It's Washington. I Done. Keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. Yeah, Washington dosed with laudanum, um, and, um, Elizabeth went into a fit of rage. Piaggi, um, no, no, not Piaggi, uh, geez, Peru, um, came in afterwards, after she was dead. Oh, hey, little guy. My little news just, just hanging out. He's waking up from a nap. All right, let's go back up the stairs and uh, and talk to uh, talk to Mortimer about it. Oop. He demands pets. All right. <sighs> All right, let's do it, team. Let's say that Washington did it. I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis.
Remind me of the facts. Remind me of the facts we already Just to double about. check. Elizabeth Adams was killed last night. Indeed. But Piaggi was with Holm and I until late at night. Okay. As for Bonaparte and Washington, they left us after midnight. So Washington had the time in order to do it. Okay. Nothing's against that. I believe I've identified the murderer. Really, Louis? All right, then. Please think carefully before you give me your answer. This Jesus, is look at very, his eyes. Jesus. Accusation. <sighs> it's definitely not Emily. It's definitely not Emma. It could have been Sarah. But how would she get in without getting any sort of detection? It's not Peru. Peru loved her. Bonaparte has been 100% serious with me. And I've been able to, to judge him at every step. There was American laudanum. I want to check to see if it's if Elizabeth is an option because I don't think that um, Washington stabbed her. My mother, Elizabeth Adams herself. I think it was Sudoku. That was what killed Elizabeth Adams. Oh, and Washington is even is it even an option? Huh? Washington is not even an option. Well, we figured that one out, team. Elizabeth Adams herself. I believe it was suicide. Suicide? Louis, I I hope you have solid evidence. She took she laudanum. Did the laudanum and the wine, probably to take away her anxiety. She could have decided she couldn't go on and acted while she was not her normal self. Mm -hmm. Sounds a bit far-fetched to me, but it isn't without logic. Anything else? The handprint of the woman was was on the... The knife found beside Elizabeth's body yep. had a handprint on it. A slender hand. Without a doubt, the hand of a woman. And Elizabeth is the only female guest? Come, Louis. Anything else? Self-harm happened a long time ago, so I'm not even going to click that option because that like it shows the past, but doesn't show the present. Um, that's my, my belief that she killed herself. So she stabbed herself nine times. Really? That's very hard to believe, Louis. Louis, I'm afraid this is simply not sufficient. This is a serious accusation. I need concrete evidence. That is why I am taking over this case as of now. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. My mother's in hiding. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? Is she hiding from somebody because she's afraid or is she stalking? I think she's the mouse. I think she's trying to avoid detection in order for her to do what she needs to do while not being stopped by some other guest. I'd like to answer the cat, but unfortunately I'm increasingly worried that she's in fact the mouse. Mm, that doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was Doesn't the make me feel any reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. 
You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear Art dealer. That? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak yeah, to me. Yeah, Bonaparte talked to me. During lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Why help Lieutenant? Because you expect him to rise to power. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. Yeah. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as Ooh. what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what is said. Um, there's something else I'd like to leave you. Oh no, I'm gonna get tossed down the hole. You asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. I did say that. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? I have no idea. I... She was looking for a buyer. Uh, looking for a buyer of stolen art, maybe? But, um... She would have talked to Mortimer about that. If only my mother had trusted me, but... She remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? As head of the Order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I am sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? I don't think she's lost her mind. She's either wary of someone or her plans are... Her plans aren't finished yet. Um, and she needs to not be stopped. I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say she's wary of someone. Because if we don't trust Mortimer... And we say that she might have discovered something. Mortimer will piece together what she's discovered and, and go after her. So wary of someone. Her not coming back to the manor after so long makes me wonder if she is wary of someone. Well, certainly. But whom? The only ones who were present you. during her stay were Sir Gregory, Duchess Hillsborough, Mr. Von Bolder, and myself. I thought Adams wasn't here. I thought Adams arrived on the same day that I did. I think she's wary of Mortimer, but I don't want to say to Mortimer that she's wary of you. So we're going to go with Gregory Holmes. You're close friends, but what can you tell me about Sir Gregory? Gregory? Oh, he's one of those cantankerous old men. Cantankerous. That's a... A That's a good word. And rather conservative. I'm sure you've met the type. Well, actually, I don't judge people on how they look. And That's good, because he's ugly. What with his manner of continuing to wear makeup as he does, 
Gregory often gives off an unhealthy image. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Oh, please tell me that you guys weren't in, weren't in a relationship. Um, what did you speak you about? Know my mother very well, my lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as we had a little free time, we liked to share points of view about practically any subject. We would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse, or the adoption of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. Whitney's we're going to talk treaty. Yeah. The armistice between the Russians and the Turks. Russia's come out of it having officially won Crimea, which gives it direct access to the Black Sea. And, at the same time, the Mediterranean Sea. I'm worried about the decisions Sarina Catherine might decide to take. She's a woman who managed to get rid of her husband to accede to the upper reaches of power. Gaining access to the Mediterranean Sea remains her main objective. When she still had that dear Potemkin as her lover, I could always find out about her intentions, but those days are over. I mean, sure, I guess we'll, I guess we'll continue along this train of thought. I don't know what this has to do. Alexandrovich Potemkin? The very man. The little devil behind the mother of all Russians. Since his death, I know absolutely nothing of what the Tsarina is up to. Oh. Really? Ah, yes. I didn't mean to shock you. Please forgive me. Let's just say that, in my position, it is often advantageous to know about the habits and customs of world leaders. I'm surprised she didn't get you started on the Crusades. It was her favorite subject. Huh, are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. It so happens that the Crusades are also my subject of predilection. Especially oh God, predilection. Pred, predile pred predilection. Brilliantly during the siege of Saint Jean d'Arc. Um. I mean, it, it's free. I lulled my childhood with tales of the Crusades, how Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus had to battle it out to achieve their ends. And how Guy de Lusignan, having broken his word, launched the siege of Saint Jean d'Arc. Oh, I see Sarah's lessons have inspired new enthusiasts. Good on you, because not everyone can claim they know as much at your age. Your mother is a very well-read woman. You're quite lucky to have her as a model, Louis. Yes, I know, but I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are Worse things to worry about now, Louis. What do you mean? Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Mm -hmm. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister, and really shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang no. on. No. That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened? For that to change. I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by... Wouldn't Emily have mentioned if Emma herself. was dead? She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's mm. all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. 
Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Appreciate Thank that. You.